here i want to add one more component from the angular material and that is the date picker that date picker is available over here this is the date picker picker is used to choose a date and you can use this for different kind of things like uh, for the date of birth for the published date and you can also use it for kind of date range so here are all the examples and this component would be very useful if you are working on a booking website for example to book the hotels flights rooms etc okay let's try to implement this date picker in the application to use this date picker first we have to go to this api section and we have to use this module let's copy it go back to the application and this is the material module over here let's just put it and use this mat date picker over here okay now we have to go to this overview section and we can use this one so let's say what is the code for this particular date picker so this is a mat form field this is the mat label and this is the input box this is a hint and here they are typing and here they are putting month dd and y y y y you can update all these things based on your need so this is the toggle button to display or hide that calendar and here is the mat date picker and here they are using the reference variable let's say what we have in the ts file there is nothing on the ts file okay so let's just copy this entire code go back to our application and this is the add book component over here before this is book published let's use this one just to see how it will look like go to the browser and we are getting some errors you must import one of the following modules at your application root that is mat native date module or mat moment date module so let's use one of them so here i'm using this mat native date module and for that i can go to this material section again and here i'm writing import and use it over here go back to the browser go to this all books click on this new book if i will click on this button then we will get a proper calendar i can use these arrow symbols to navigate in between months so this is how you can see it you can click on this particular drop down to get all the years so you can navigate in between all of them also you can use these two buttons to navigate in between the years so let's say here i'm using this 2022 and this is the july this is the date so this is how it will look like but to bind it to our form we have to again add one more property first we have to use that ng model so this is the ng model directive that we are using and over here for this input box let's just use it provide the name attribute as well so here it is let's say date just save the changes and we have to add a corresponding value in the model so this is the add book in this add book model we have to use one property for the public and here i'm writing published on and the type is date and if you remember from the previous video we have to update this all books component also because in the displaying process we are using this property so we have to map this value like this now we have to go to our book card where we are displaying its value and let's just use one more p tag over here and here i'm writing published on and let's use that book dot that property p u b l i okay so we are done with the changes now let's go back to the browser and we will test it properly so so first i'm entering the data in the title so let's say it is for the testing purpose this is how we do in the development just enter anything quickly use this one and for the date you can also type it or you can also choose it from this calendar let's use it like this is published so as of now we are not using any kind of validation in this form so even if this one is false we can still choose that published date okay just save the value and let's see what we got over here so here is the date property and we have to update this one because for this one we are using a different property that is so we are using book dot published on is equals to we will get its value from this value object and value dot published on and let's use the same property over here in this name section like this now we are done with all the changes let's go back to the browser to test it 
so this is something that we are entering over here price it is 200 choose a date let's say it is 21 use this one save let's say what we got over here we are having all the data very good go to the all books at the bottom side let's say what we have so we are having everything over here so this is the published one we are having this proper date you can also format this date by using some pipes that are provided by the angular and we will talk about them later but as of now whatever we are passing from the form it is visible over here and this is working fine this is how you can use the date picker component in your application